welcome friends in the formula engineering classroom in the previous lecture we saw or we understand the fluid and what is the significance of properties are in this lecture we will discuss some properties of fluid so in this lecture first i am discussing the very basic property mass density mass density it's basically represented by rho mass density is normally also termed as density so what is the density means so mathematically we can say that density is equals to mass per unit of volume so here if you want to define the units of this one so we can define that is mass so we can define kg divided by volume that is meter cube so what is the physical significance of this term so let in this case i'm considering container i want to draw this one first so there is a container and this container has volume is equals to 1 meter cube all right now let i am taking water first and water at specified state so what is the state means at particular pressure and at particular temperature so let i am taking water at 1 atm pressure and 4.4 degree centigrade of temperature this is very specified state of the system so let at this state i am pouring the water in this container so at this state the water will occupy this whole space this whole container and it has around 1000 kg of mass so means at this particular state in 1 meter cube volume the mass of water is 1000 kg so if i want to define the density of water at this state so i can define density of water is equals to so we know from the mathematical concept mass per unit volume so mass at this state is 1000 kg and volume is 1 meter cube so we can say that at this particular state water has 1000 kg per meter cube density at this particular state this particular state space state is very specified because if i will change the state the density is also going to change this is the nature of the water because at the four one atmospheric pressure and 4.4 degree centigrade the density of water is maximum that is 1000 kg per meter cube means if pressure is 1 atm and temperature is 4.4 degree centigrade the density is 1000 kg per meter cube but if i am taking the press pressure is same or let i'm saying for this case i'm increasing the temperature i'm increasing the temperature in that case the density of the water is going to decrease below 1000 similarly if i'm going to decrease the temperature the density of the water is also going to decrease you can see this one the density of the ice is less than the density of the ice is less than the density of the water that's why the ice 
will float over the water you can normally see this one the ice will float over the water because the density of ice is less than the water so here we can define the density so now let I am taking another fluid let I am saying I am taking mercury at state 1 atmospheric pressure so this is 1 atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees centigrade temperature so now if I am pouring this mercury at this state in this 1 meter cube volume in that case the mercury will contain around 13,600 kg of mass so now if I want to define the density of mercury so the density of mercury will be so the current formula that is mass by volume so mass of density is 13,600 and the volume is 1 so the density of mercury will be 13,600 kg per meter cube right so similarly we can define the density of any fluid so if I am taking that air so for air the density is 1.23 kg per meter cube at 1 atmospheric pressure and 25 degree centigrade these are the standard values we are taking some standard values so 1 atmospheric pressure 25 degree centigrade and all these things so the concept of density we can say that that is it's a amount of matter per unit of volume alright so second property we are going to define with similar like mass density and it is weight density and defined by small w this is also defined as specific weight is also defined as specific weight so mathematically when we are going to define this one so we can define specific weight or weight density is equals to weight per unit volume so the units are for the weight the unit is newton and for the volume the unit is meter cube so like previous property density we are taking again a container of 1 meter cube of volume the volume of this container is 1 meter cube right now again I am taking water at 1 atmospheric and 4.4 degrees centigrade so when I will pour this water into this container definitely the mass will be 1000 kg according to this state now as this much mass of water this much of mass of water is in earth gravitational field that's why this water will exert some weight so let as we know for the earth the gravitational acceleration is 9.81 meter per second square so for 1000 kg of water the weight will be equals to 1000 into 9.81 
that is 1980 newton so from this one we can define the weight density of water or specific weight of water on earth is 1980 per meter cube of volume that is 1980 newton per meter cube now if the water is at same state is pouring in the same volume and let this container is completely closed and we take it this container to the moon so definitely the gravitational acceleration of the moon is less that's why the weight of this water will also be less so in that case the weight density or specific weight of water on the moon will be less all right similarly if we are taking an example of mercury so in case of hg at the state fun atmospheric and 25 degree centigrade the density of the mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube so if you want to calculate the specific weight you can define specific weight is weight by volume so we can write weight is mass into gravitational acceleration by volume and we know that is mass by volume mass by volume means this specified term mass by volume is equal to density so this is rho g so the specific weight of mercury will be rho of mercury into g so rho of mercury at this state is 13600 kg per meter cube so 13600 into g is 9.81 newton per meter cube so this is the specific weight now we will define the third property so third property of fluid we are defining is specific gravity or this is also termed as relative density sometimes it's not by s so let we are define this by s dot g specific gravity so this property it's actually a comparison comparison of some unknown fluid with some standard type of fluid so it's actually a criteria of comparing or creating some standards let if i'm saying the height of the room is 12 feet so i'm saying 12 feet because i know what is zero is so actually 12 feet is the comparison with the zero feet similarly the specific gravity is also a comparison criteria so in this case if we define mathematically specific gravity is actually density or weight density of any fluid to density or weight density some standard fluid so we can define this one this is equals to rho of unknown fluid that by rho of some standard fluid or this is also specific weight of some unknown fluid or by specific weight of some standard fluid so seeing this one we can write specific weight is equals to rho g and this is some rho of standard fluid and g is same So this will out. So this is again providing the same category as rho divided by rho of some standard fluid. That's why we are saying this is relative density. So now, 
so this is equals to 1 so when I'm comparing the specific gravity of oil with water so I can say that there is specific gravity of oil is less than specific gravity of standard fluid or water or water so if the specific gravity of any substance or any fluid is less than the standard fluid in that case that particular fluid will float over the standard fluid so we can see the example in our normal life that is oils or vegetable oil will always float over the water because the specific gravity of oil is less than the standard fluid or to if to simplify this condition we can say that if the specific gravity of any fluid is less than one then that particular liquid will always float over the standard fluid right now I am taking another example I am saying density of mercury we know that is 13,600 kg per meter cube alright so specific gravity of mercury will be will be 13,000 600 divided by 1000 standard fluid so this will be equals to 13.6 so from this value 13.6 we can say that that is mercury is 13.6 time denser than water so definitely the value of specific gravity for the mercury is greater than 1 not less than 1 so this fluid is going to sink down in the standard fluid as we discuss if the specific gravity is less than 1 fluid will float and if specific gravity is greater than 1 fluid sink so now we provided this criteria also by the specific weight wise so we can also say that there is this oil is has less weight than the water that's why this float and mercury has more weight than the standard fluid that's why this will sink down so specific gravity is nothing it's a simply a comparison criteria of any fluid with respect to standard fluid so let's take an example so let I'm saying this is a 2 liter of petrol and whose weight is 14 Newton so in this case first of all I want to calculate what is the density of petrol what is the specific weight of petrol and what is the specific gravity of petrol so so now let first we have weight we have volume so first we will define that is volume of petrol is equals to 2 liter so in terms of meter cube I can define this is 2 into 10 to power minus 3 meter cube as you can define that is 
वन लीटर इज इक्वल टू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री मीटर कन्वर्जन राइट एंड वेट ऑफ द पेट्रोल सो वेट ऑफ द पेट्रोल इज फोर्टीन न्यूटन राइट सो स्पेसिफिक वेट सो एज पर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक वेट ऑफ पेट्रोल वी कैन से दैट द स्पेसिफिक वेट इज वेट ऑफ द फ्लूड डिवाइड बाई वॉल्यूम ऑफ द फ्लूड सो वेट ऑफ द फ्लूड इज फोर्टीन न्यूटन फोर्टीन न्यूटन डिवाइड बाई वॉल्यूम इज टू इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री दैट इज दिस वन दैट्स वाई the specific weight of the petrol will be equal to so this will term will go up so this is 14 so this is divided by 2 so this is 7 into 10 to power 3 newton per meter cube right so specific weight of the petrol is 700 into power 3 or 7000 newton per meter cube or we can write 7 किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर क्यूब ऑल राइट सो दिस टर्म इज क्लियर नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द डेंसिटी ऑफ पेट्रोल सो एज पर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक वेट वी कैन से दैट दर इज स्पेसिफिक वेट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू रोजी एज अवर प्रीवियस डिस्कशन सो वी नो वॉट इज दिस वैल्यू ऑफ फॉर द पेट्रोल सो दिस वैल्यू can add is 7 into 10 to power 3 for the petrol rho is unknown for the petrol and we know what is the value of g g is 9.81 meter per second square so from this calculation we can say that there is density of the petrol will be that i have to calculate is around 713 Point five six kg per meter cube. Right. So the specific weight is this one, or weight density is seven kilogram per meter cube, and the density is seven thirteen point five six kg per meter cube. Now this term is also clear. So now we want to calculate what is the specific gravity. so according to definition of specific gravity we know specific gravity of petrol is density of petrol sorry density of petrol or specific weight of petrol divided by density of some standard fluid or divided by specific weight of standard fluid so by density criteria we know density of the petrol is this one that is 713.56 and for the petrol the standard fluid is water that is 1000 so this will be equals to 0.71356 newton less right so again we can see here as the density of the petrol is less than 1 that's why the petrol will float over the standard fluid that is water what is clear so similarly if you want to calculate according to this criteria you can also calculate that is we know what is the specific weight that is 7 into 10 to power 3 and for water specific weight is Rho G, Rho for it is thousand, and G is nine point eight one. So again, this will provide the same value. So this is how we can calculate these properties like mass density, weight density, or specific weight, or specific gravity for any fluid. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.